Hi everyone, a lot of people have been asking me that Bhaiya, is it really possible to prepare in just two months for NEST or IIT? I have not started even the preparation. A lot of my syllabus is not covered. Will you cover everything from scratch in your crash course and all? So in this video, I am going to clear all these doubts for you. But first of all, listen to this clip very carefully. Sir, honestly speaking, I am a neat aspirant and we are only taught the, uh, how to write the MOT of fluorine, nitrogen and oxygen and nothing else. Like seriously, we're not uh, these all things. Now, in this clip, you just saw a student who is actually a neat aspirant and they did not teach her properly what actually molecular orbital theory is. As a result, she is facing problem in this next exam question. Now, the thing is that she, the student, I am not going to tell you the name. She was from our course and right now she is in Iser Pune. Similarly, a lot of our student, initially one of the student got just 17 marks in mock test one and he was really demotivated. He was crying. Then he talked with Akhil and with me and right now he's in Iser Bhopal and in the actual exam of IAT he got 75 marks. So these are the things which have happened. This is just one or two example. I can give you so many examples. So many students I talked to personally they were crying on the phone call with me. Right now they're in Iser Mohali, Bhopal, Pune, Kolkata and you see the selection you have already seen right. So yes it is possible. So first of all you need to believe it okay until you believe Believe it you're not going to work towards it as hard as you can when you actually believe that it is true now given that you believe it now let me tell you how actually it can happen and what exactly we did last time that we got so many selections even if the people had not covered all of the theory they did not read all the chapters I am going to tell you what we are going to do and how we are going to help you get to those Iser, Niger or CBS now the first important point which I focus on highly is question to theory approach see the whole year you have been studying first you read the chapter you read the theory and then you go to the question right but in these last moments last few months you need to focus on questions and then go to the theory what is this all about so first you will solve the mock test first you will solve the questions now a lot of you will say i have not even read that chapter right so don't worry we are going to give you basics in the revision class itself we are going to do the revision class for the important chapters and all right we are going to have daily revision class for all four subjects so we are going to help you with the theory we are going to give you the study material you read basic theory first you attempt the question now a lot of you will not be able to solve a lot of questions right so the important point is there that you go back to the theory of that particular chapter that you go back to the theory of that question so let's say you were stuck in concept of atomic orbitals in structure of atom then you go and read the theory of atomic orbital and you come back and solve the question so this is question to theory approach first you solve the question you understand okay why where is your problem in this question where is the problem in the concept and then you fix it and then you come back and solve another question you go and read the theory and then come back this is how you improve okay generally whole year what you do you first read the theory and then you do the uh, questions the problem is that in the competitive exams they do not ask you theory right even if you don't know a lot of theory you can still solve many of the questions many times it, it happens because all you need to know is the problem solving skill especially in exams like NES they will give you so much data in the question that actually you don't need to know a lot of things beforehand on the paper itself they will give you very new concepts so it does not matter if you've already read that concept for example there is a dial Selders reaction which we read in BSc and MSc and it actually comes in get net exam but that concept they gave in the question now if you use little bit of your brain the everything all the information is given in the question you just need to have enough practice that you find out how to choose the right option so this is what we are going to do and that is why I focus on question to theory approach now the second important point is that fine you will be solving a lot of questions right but if you do not analyze your mistake if you do not go back to theory and improve it there is no point in doing this right so very important thing even if you fail be happy that you were not able to do that particular question because right now you can improve but when you make the same mistake in the 
actual exam you will not be able to improve so be happy do not get demotivated please please do not get demotivated i have talked to so many students that in this mock test i have got so less marks i am not able to do questions of bio or maths or physics it's hard i know it's very hard but if you are demotivated then you're not be able to uh succeed or you will not be able to you know practice more and qualify the exam as i said in the beginning you need to believe that it is possible and you can do it you need to believe in yourself and this exactly happen i just gave you many examples the students crying on the phone call right now in aizer pune or aizer bhopal or aizer kolkata so that is there now analyzing your mistake was the second point number 3 it is very true that you cannot solve everything in just 2 months it is not possible that you solve everything in just 2 months but what is possible is that with our help with our expertise we tell you the questions the topics which are going to come in the exam and you solve them properly and guess what you get more than 60% of the answers or the marks isn't that fantastic right you can do that last year a lot of our questions from bio actually came not not just the concept or the topic actually the same question was repeated from our mock test in the nest exam that was about covid 19 drug so those are the things we are going to tell you what are the most important chapters what are going to be the most important topics and in the topics what are the probable type of questions so those kind of things we are going to give you so many mock tests so many previous year papers you will be practicing them that was the third important point i am soon going to make the important chapters and topic videos don't worry about it okay now the fourth important point is training your brain to be ready for the exam so you might be preparing very casually for the mock test or the previous year papers but when you will go to the actual exam there will be different scenario there will be so many students around you there will be you know they will be verifying your admit card and all those things you will be sitting there and your heartbeat will be really high you will be really worried that whole one year of preparation might go to waste if you do not solve it properly a lot of negative thoughts are going to come that is why what i really recommend to all my students in my crash course whether you join my crash course or not you can always follow this what you do every day even i as a topper of my whole school you know from class 9 to class 12th i used to be topper of the school itself then i used to get what i used to what was my secret which i never told my friends the secret was since 2 months before i used to practice every day you know during the exam timing so let's say the iit exam is 9 am to 12 pm right 9 to 12 10 10 to 11 11 to 12 3 hours exam so you sit at 9 am actually before that 8 30 take your pen take a rough copy paper start you know on the computer mode or your phone wherever it's possible for you to give our mock test and then give the mock test exactly as if you are giving the exam follow the strategy you are going to use in the exam for example solving in round 1 or round 2 like that i am going to tell you all those strategies don't worry about it so solving in multiple rounds solving whether to solve physics first or maths first or bio first or chemistry first and should you leave the question in between and you know skip the question and come back so all those things are there what will you try in the actual exam so what i mean is treat these mock tests and previous year papers as if they are the actual exam so every day from 9 am to 12 pm you give these mock test or previous year papers as if you are giving the exam our students said themselves that they felt as if they are just giving a mock test so that is the type of training we, i want you all to have in my crash course definitely you are going to have that if you don't join it fine you can practice this with yourself at your home now even after doing all of these things a lot of you may not be able to you know produce the result and you will say bhaiya my marks are not improving in the mock test let me tell you the reason the reason is that you're not analyzing it properly the reason is that you're repeating your mistakes the mistake you did in mock test 1 you're making in mock test 2 so you're not improving at all and trust me if you improve just one point okay just say let's say if you just study one concept in one mock test or one previous year paper total you are going to have 12 mock tests in our course you are going to have about 16 previous year paper for nest about 5 or 6 previous year papers in iit so easily your about 16 to 20 concepts will easily be covered in just period of one and half month so your 16 topics will become really strong that any question coming from that topic you will be able to solve it right so that is the important point you need to analyze your mistake what you can do is let me give you extra suggestion make an excel sheet for yourself write your question question 1 2 3 4 like this till question number 15 or 17 then write that how many marks you got after giving the mock test write that you got one marks 
or three marks or write that you got minus one marks or 0.75 negative marks like that so write and then write that okay why did you get minus one mark so write that you did a silly mistake and in second one you write that maybe you didn't know the concepts so you write that make an excel sheet for yourself then calculate your marks in which section you're getting how many marks although you're going to get detailed analysis report in my mock test but still do it in an excel sheet so that you yourself realize that are you making more silly mistakes and losing marks or you actually don't know the concept so to differentiate whether you know something or you don't know something you need to track yourself so those were the most important things i am soon going to make important videos important chapters and a lot of things what should be the strategy should you attempt the question paper in two rounds or one round everything will be covered in this channel so subscribe and please like this video right now that will really motivate me to make more of such useful content and with that take care all the best and now i have to go to my lab to do my experiment and it's afternoon and i have not uh, switched on the fan to make this video so please like this video and share this video as much as you can trust me my team and we are working so hard for you all that even i don't know a lot of students will not be working for themselves so trust me here we are to help you as much as we can until the day of actual exam and even after you qualify we are going to help you with the counseling and get admission so stay tuned subscribe and like this video please share with your friends take care see you in the next video bye